welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome. My name is Frances Michelle. So happy you are here. I'm so happy to record this video for you guys. <laughs> because now after this video being recorded, I feel like I go, I can go into labor calmly. <laughs> um, I have been trying to record this video for you guys for the longest. And for some reason, it doesn't happen. So in today's video, as you guys can see, we are going to dive in into what's in my hospital bag for baby. I've been looking at videos on YouTube and on Pinterest to find out ideas on what to put on my baby's bag. Cause it is my third child, but with my other two was very, very different. Um, there was no YouTube <laughs> around first off and Second, I was very young. I didn't know that you needed to pack anything for baby when you were um, giving birth. So I am now more older, more mature, and I'm ready to be ready when it comes to being in the hospital with my baby. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button right down there. And if you like this type of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll on to the video. Okay, so I'm going to get started and just give you guys a little um, like background as into my pregnancy. I am recording this video. I am I am between thirty five and thirty six weeks pregnant. Um, I've been giving due dates from left and right, which I'm just here like I don't know. I can either be anywhere from thirty five to thirty weeks, thirty six weeks pregnant. So don't call me on it. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> um, but I am on my last trimester. It has been very hard for me. This is my third pregnancy with my third boy. I have two boys already. I wanted a girl, but God decided to send me another boy. So I am so stoked, guys, because I have never had, and I feel bad for my other babies, my other children, because they were like, I have never had such an amazing and cool ass diaper bag like this one guys i was just like oh yeah i'm so excited to be partnered with itsy ritzy for this diaper bag and i know that it's going to be the sensation everywhere i go let me show you the bag guys this is what the bag looks like oh my god i am so obsessed with this bag so this bag is from itsy ritzy i am one of their ambassadors so this is in collaboration with Itsy Ritzy. I do have a coupon code if you're interested in getting yourself a backpack, a diaper bag, a mommy bag, a daddy da a bag. They had they have such cute bags, not even funny. So I do have a coupon code. I'm gonna put it down below so you guys can take advantage of that. Um, this is the bag. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the bag before I jump into what's inside the bag. So this bag has one, two, three four colors and I'm not mad at it because everything matches so the front is like this um, pattern white and black and then it's black all over with this is my favorite part with this brown accent and I'm just obsessed with how beautiful the colors and everything look so this is what the bag looks like um so very spacious right off the bat it is empty because I want to show you what's inside of like I want to show you really what looks inside of it and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like with everything inside of the bag. I have everything outside because I wanna show you, like I said, inside the bag. So it has its a Ritzy logo on here. So right at the back, it has a humongous, humongous pocket right here, humongous. It has a beautiful tassel in the front and then it has two pockets right here the thing I like about this is that they're magnetic. So look at that. Easy open, easy close. So you don't have to worry about leaving it open and something spilling when it has like that that um, that one that you actually close. I don't know what it's called or whatever. So then on the side here, it has a pouch that you can put anything. You can put a, a bottle, whatever. And then on the other side of the bag, instead of having the pouch, it actually has a insulated okay it's insulated guys so you can put anything cold in there and or warm and it will stay cold or warm that is amazing like i they thought of everything like if you're breastfeeding or whatever you want to keep your breast your um milk at a cool temperature you know you put that sucker in here so that's pretty cool okay, so in the back 
It has the straps, which is amazing. And then it's all black. But then here in the back, it has a little surprise for you. So you open this right here. And look what it has. It has a changing pad. And it is the same pattern as the bag. So hello, matches your bag. And look how cute this is. It says heads and toes. I thought that was cute. Um, I don't have to invest in one of these things because it already comes with it. All right, so let's get into what's inside. So we open it from side to side. And this is what the bag looks like on the inside. Okay, so in here, let's just do this one right here real quick. In here, you have two different compartments. And I love that they're mesh, so you can actually see what's in there. And then when you go on this side, so this is what you have. You have here, you have like a like a sort of like a mesh, and you can actually remove it completely if you don't want to have it. You can actually take it off from both sides. And then you have one pocket, two, three, and then you have this one here. Then up top here, it has mesh different pocket holes that you can actually put things in there as well so this is what the bag looks like guys i'm obsessed and the last thing which is pretty amazing is the bottom part of the bag it has this thing here it's like a spider right it's a ritzy it's like a spider yeah it's a bitsy spider so it has these little things in the bottom so if you put it on the floor and the floor is wet or whatever you know that it's not gonna get wet and your things inside are not gonna get damaged. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it also helps the backpack stay put, stay back, stay like standing. So that's just pretty cool. So this is the backpack, guys. I am totally obsessed with it. I just cannot wait to start using it and show it off because I have never seen such a cute diaper bag. Like, come on. They have this one, they have an all black one, they have the blush one that just came out. Now that we're done with what the bag is, let me tell you what's going to be inside the bag. Okay, so the first thing that I'm, gonna ch I'm bringing to the hospital is a big fluffy blanket. This blanket was actually given to me by Saranoni Luxury Blankets and it is the softest blanket I have felt ever in my life like for real it is a big blanket as you guys can see it has like that silky ed edges the reason why I'm bringing this blanket is not because it's 50 or 40 degrees outside when he comes out it's just for pictures like I thought it would be nice to just kind of lay the blanket on my bed and have him laid on top of the blanket and take start taking his baby pictures so that's the reason why i'm bringing that blanket just for picture purposes only let's get into the little outfits that i have for him i have a couple of outfits i have his coming home outfits and a couple of outfits for the um hospital okay so i have one two three four i think i have like five outfits you're probably going to be like francis that is like insane you don't need so much outfits listen it's a baby. It's a newborn. He can spit up. He can pee on himself. He can poop on himself. It's better for you to be safe than for you to be sorry. Because I had a premature baby born at 35 weeks, weighing five pounds, I don't want to run the chances of this one coming out premature and me not having clothes that fit him. So I did purchase um, a set that came together and it's a preemie set. Look how tiny. But honestly speaking, this is supposedly until five pounds. Um, the last time I checked two weeks ago, my baby was already five pounds and three ounces. So if I keep waiting, I don't think I will have to use it, but I have it in there just in case, given the fact that my two other babies did come out small, rather small than normal. My first one was five pounds, the other one was six pounds. So I'd rather have like an outfit that fits him if he comes out and decides to come out sooner. So that's just a little once, uh, onesy with the little um, tiny pants. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus. And um, for sleeping, if it is a pre if he comes out preemie, look how pretty this is. <laughs> 
This is the cutest little thing ever. All right, so that is just the reason why I'm bringing this extra um, outfit because of the fact that I don't know when he wants to come out. I am carrying him very low. He's already in position. His head is really tucked down there. When they examined me and they found out I was actually dilated one centimeter, I was 50%. I was 34 weeks. Yeah, I was 34 weeks. And when the doctor examined me, he actually felt the head. He's like, the head is right there. So this baby, for honestly speaking, can come out any moment at any time. So I want to be more safe than sorry. So I do have his coming home outfit. It's just a regular um, gray and black uh, uh, onesie. I'm very monochromatic when it comes to this baby. Everything is like grayish and blackish and I'm just obsessed with. I'm going to bring him home in this little onesie. Um, it's just a regular black and gray. So it matches his um, swaddler. His swaddler is gray. I'll show you in a minute. And then of course I'm packing a bib for him for this coming home outfit that matches his outfit. And then I have two other outfits just in case um, for sleeping. I know you're in the hospital anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. If he comes out uh, full term and there's no complications, you're there 24 to 48 hours. So packing two or three outfits is enough. But like I said, you never know what could happen. It's always to pack a little bit extra for baby rather than um, just find out that, you know. And I am kind of far from the hospital. I am probably 40 45 minutes away from the hospital so i cannot send anyone to go home oh my god find me more onesies or whatever so i do have uh two other onesies just regular onesies guys i mean whatever he's gonna sleep in i like the nightlife <laughs> yeah he does so those are the outfits that i'm plan i'm picking like i said i think i'm planning on bringing at least one uh, one onesie with a pair of pants just in case like i said you never know what could happen you never know prepare it's better to prepare for the worst than just prepare for something that you think it's going to happen and it doesn't so the next thing i have is a bear i know people he's not a play picture purposes i'm playing in this my first bear just for picture purposes i can just lay the bear next to him and take a cute picture to post it on instagram or whatnot okay so the next things i have are the blankets i'm bringing um two receiving blankets two regular blankets one is blue and white, kind of matches their his um, blue onesies. And then the other one is the gray one that I'm, I, like I said, I'm planning to bring him home in this one. It's just a light gray color. I don't know why it's just washing it off. So I'm bringing two receiving blankets. Um, I'm not bringing any more because I know the hospital provides some receiving blankets. They are ugly, <laughs> but you can use them for burping purposes, for changing him or whatever. And then these ones are just pretty much for like pictures or as people come over, you know, you kind of want to have him matching. I'm bringing two swaddlers with me. Um, these were also given to me by um, the company. This is from where the big blanket is. This is from Saranoni. These are the luxuries blanket. Oh my God, guys. <sighs> I'm going to be very honest. The quality between these blankets that you find anywhere at Target, Walmart, or whatever, between these um, Saranoni blankets are like legit, like dark, like day and night, day and night. Seriously, this is so soft. So this is um like a gray color and white, and it is a swaddler blanket. It is a swaddler. So this is pretty cool. I don't know, maybe bring him home in this, but it is a swaddler. I can't say it is a swaddler blank swaddle blanket so i i love that blanket and then this one is perfect for first time parents that know nothing about swaddling a child i honestly will tell you that i will be struggling swaddling him learning how to swaddle him this is from the ollie world and it is super super soft but i just love because this blanket is just very easy so as you can see it has the um it has the Velcros. Let me see. But you see how it has the Velcros? So it has the Velcros on one side and then the other one's right here, as you can see. So you kind of just put him in there and you swaddle him like this. And you just close it, see? And then the baby is swaddled. And then on the bottom, you can just tie it or tuck it inside. And that's it honestly so this is very very easy i thought this was great for like new parents that have never swaddled a baby before i just thought it was pretty cool if i have any coupon code for any of the blankets or anything that was gifted to me 
I will link everything down below so you guys can take some percentage of. I am not making a commission out of it. I like always like to have like a coupon code for my followers so they can get like some some discounts off of what they're buying. So I'm not making a commission on it whatsoever. I just always like to ask for a coupon code for you. Of course, I am bringing a nursing cover. This nursing cover is great. I was also gifted this from the company. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. They're called Covered Goods, multi-use nursing covers. I will link it down below. This one is their gray and white stripes. Like I said, monochromatic, very gray, very black. Sorry, guys. So the cool thing about this uh, nursing cover, this Covered Goods, is that you can use it in three ways. You can use this as a nursing cover. You can also use it as a scarf. And you can also use it as covering the car seat. So it covers the car seat to the point where on the top is the head and you can carry it and no one can see him or whatever it is the case. But this is pretty cool because if I'm not using um, if I'm not using it for nursing and I have to like I have to go outside and I want to cover the car seat, I can use this. And if I am outside and I need to nurse him, I can still use them as a cover. So I thought this was pretty cool for those moms out there that are nursing and have babies. I think this will be a great investment for you guys and it's not expensive at all. I know the hospital provides, I always say, um, I've given birth in this hospital already to my two boys and I do remember that they offer a couple of things. They do offer a breastfeeding, they do offer a breast pump, they do offer wipes and pamper and diapers. Um, so always if you have diapers don't bring them don't bring your wipes use the ones from the hospital unless you're planning on using a specific brand then that's totally different i am bringing a pair a, a, a pack of wipes this is totally extra but the reason why i'm bringing a pair of wipes is because i'm going to be using this brand and i want to see how he reacts to it i want to see how um you know like kind of get him used to using this brand right off the bat rather than use the ones from the hospital and then having to come home and change them to another pair of wipes. So that's the reason why I'm doing this one because I'm gonna be using this one and I wanna be using them right off the bat with the baby. All right, so in this little, um, in this little mesh bag, I have, I have two pairs of socks for the baby. Bringing pairs of socks is always a good idea. I have two pairs of mittens for him and I have beanies. We want to keep him warm, especially in the hospitals, it's very cold. So I have this three beanies for him. One, uh, The black one is the one that he's gonna have on when he comes home. I packed some bibs because you don't want him to get dirty if you're feeding him. You never know what could happen. So I do have like blue um, bandana bibs. I just thought that the bandana bibs were so cute. I have another little beanie for him. And I had did buy, I did bring one burp cloth. Okay, so the last thing I have for him is a bottle. And I wish you guys can really see what this bottle is. This is a Nano Bebe bottle. It is made to look like a breast, as you guys can see. I just hate the fact that my camera is not working <laughs> properly for me. But it is in the shape of a breast and here you remove this cap and you put the nipple there we go and you put the nipple in there and the baby sucks on it and there, this is one of the bottles that i'm going to be using i did receive this um from nano bebe i will be doing a blog post on this completely different but i did i am bringing a bottle the reason why i'm bringing a bottle is because i'm going to be breastfeeding the baby only like i am it's just going to be breastfeeding but I want to pump my milk and put it in the bottles that I'm going to be using at home for my for my husband to feed him. So if I have people coming over and I took out some breast milk and they want to feed the baby, especially my husband, I'm doing it mostly for my husband, and they want to feed the baby, they can actually do it on this because, of course, uh, this is the one that I'm going to be using and I want to get used to it right off the bat. And I just thought it was great so like that other people can feed the baby or especially, of course, your partner can feed the baby while you take a little nap or you shower or you get dressed or whatever. You can, they can have the experience of feeding the baby. That is the reason why I'm bringing a bottle. And that's it, guys. That is legit, honestly, everything that I'm bringing. Make sure you kind of have like a tour with your hospital to kind of know what they're going to be giving you. And then like that, you know what you're going to be bringing. 
All right, guys, so there we go. That is all that I'm bringing in my baby's bag. Um, if I have a coupon code for any of the other things that I mentioned, I will list everything I have down below that was gifted to me so you guys can actually go over the website and take a look at it. And, yes, I do have a 25% off on these babies on these babies <laughs> and I will definitely link it down below. Thank you so much for It's a Receipt for collaborating with me on this video and giving me an amazing diaper bag, guys. So thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you for sticking till the end. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're pregnant. Let me know if you're expecting. Let me know if you're a new mom. I will be doing a lot of new mom content on my video, on my channel coming up like newborn essentials, um, what to buy, what not to buy, all those things I'm going to be doing here on my channel. So I would love that if you're a mom and you're just tuning into my channel for you to hit that subscribe button and be part of my family here on YouTube. And if you have any video requests regarding mom, parenting, anything, always leave it on the description box. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you for sticking till the end. Muchas gracias. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Bye.